I'm going to look at it differently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you heard me. So what I'm going to do is and action how does a confidence coach introduce her youtube channel for the year 2020 well we're all about to find out yes i'm also about to find out let's go welcome to my katie speaks live that's right it's your girl my katie call me the voice of confidence well my deal is on youtube and everywhere else in life is as a confidence coach i help people to become fully themselves anywhere everywhere anytime look at me trying to remember the fourth one all the time yep that's me i should call this like magic four or something but basically that's what i do and i've got people that i've helped both in South Africa and other parts of the world, all thanks to technology. Woohoo! Right, enough about that. So, what is this about? This is an introduction channel. No, not channel. This is an introduction video. A channel introduction video. You know what I mean. So, what I've been doing over the last few months of 2019, it's now like the first Sunday of 2018, not like it is, in fact. The last few months of 2019, when people were asking me, what do you do? Instead of telling them about my work or my studies or, you know, the, the usual stuff that we talk about when people ask you, what are you doing? I've decided to tell them what I do in a different way. So that's how I'm going to introduce myself to you. So what does my Katie do? My Katie has fun. My Katie is an advocate for excitement. My Katie is an advocate for joy. My Katie is an advocate for happiness. My Katie is an advocate for love. And those are the types of things that I'm going to share with us while I put my own confidence through the test and hmm, they're getting it better and improving it. And so if you want to see how to be fully yourself, anywhere, everywhere, anytime, and every time, and also seeing somebody trying their best to just always be full of themselves, me, do watch this channel because this channel will be divided into two. One, the voice of confidence, which is me giving confidence coaching, woohoo, and two, well, me just being me, being myself fully, you know, be it the fact that I love meeting strangers, be it the fact that I want to try weird challenges, being it the fact that I try things for the first time every now and again, being the fact that I love happy news. Hey, a segment of like happy news, like a happy news bulletin brought to you by Mark Ketty. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I pick my own confidence by, yeah, basically. Right, so we've got the voice of confidence and that's a show confidence coaching that's what i'm doing there on the voice of confidence and then on the other side the rest of the channel i'm just having fun being me doing things like challenges giving tips on interview advice the maquette way telling maquette tales story time drawing my life sharing happy news and other things like giving my opinions on other opinions <laughs> giving reviews of things that i actually do use not things that get sent to me just for the sake of a review. And I'm also going to do crafts, try new things. I'm going to... It's a long list. I've already started recording some of the videos. And I must say... What am I about? What is this all about? By this, I mean life for me. It's about having fun and serving my purpose. And people are very interested in your vehicle for serving the purpose. One of them is that I'm a confidence coach, I'm a confidence speaker. Another one is that I run a training company, I run a natural hair specialist. So like, oh my word, that reminds me, I'm supposed to style my hair. I'm all dressed up because I'm going somewhere. People are actually waiting for me in there, but I just told them, guys, my Katie Speaks Life needs an introduction video. Um, it's probably a good idea to dab my hair a bit before I style it. Okay, this is not a hair tutorial thing. Yes, I'm a natural hair specialist. Haven't combed it or blow dried it in combed or blow dried it in over five years and over eight years, respectively. I had to make sure that's the correct order. Something that's happening in 2020 for me is that I'm doing a lot, which means that time management has to become a love of mine. Time management, how am I going to attend to you, dear time management, as a love of mine? This is less than 18 months of growing natural hair from like brush size. Anyway, for another video, right? How am I going to attend to this time management thing this year? 
I'm going to look at it differently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you heard me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it as what's fun in what I'm doing. What is my purpose in what I'm doing? I'm really excited just thinking about it because I have all of this to do in 2020. All of this to do, 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 and so much more. At least now I have a plan. Where's the fun and the purpose in it? Well, I've always done the fun, but I hadn't done it in terms of a time management tool. I'll let you know in another video how this time management equals to search for fun and purpose thing goes. Just because I was talking to two people during the week about how they are feeling with the start of their year. One of them actually did buy an online course. Um, they bought Freedom to Feel. I forgot if it's 10 days long or 21 days. But anyway, so th what they were both saying was the end of 2019 and then the start of 2020, basically the end of one year and the start of another year. I must just learn to speak slowly on YouTube. I don't speak like this on stage. I don't know why I do this on YouTube. I'll slow down. So basically the whole end year start year story is overwhelming them. You know, the other one was even saying if 2019 was so bad, was making them think that 2020 will be even better. That's actually the one that bought uh, Freedom to Feel. And she says she's doing your purpose, your ease next. We'll see how it goes. And they were both saying that how they define their state they're in is depressed. I am depressed. And then my question was, have you been diagnosed by a professional? They'll say no. And then I'll say, okay, so you are seeing certain symptoms and you are deciding that those symptoms mean you are depressed, right? And remember, depression is, is like diagnosable. So now you are diagnosing yourself to have this mountain of depression. And for all you know, because you have not been diagnosed by somebody who's trained to diagnose you in that, you are creating a mountain that does not even exist. What am I saying? I just asked them to try to, without diagnosing themselves, accurately identify what they're feeling, you know? And they say things like sad, overwhelmed, tired, stressed, you know, like emotions and, and states and stuff. And I said to them, I think, I'm not sure, it might be easier. Actually, I asked them, don't you think it will be easier to face those things that you've listed instead of facing a mountain of depression that may or may not exist because it's self-diagnosed? And they're like, yeah. So this is just a, a word of caution to everybody out there who's feeling some type of way. And then you're just deciding, hey, what's the famous thing that you think this is, you know, and then you just term it something that's diagnosable. You know, you don't go, go around coughing and saying I have TB or go around being tired and saying I, I have low blood pressure and stuff like that. So don't do that. Don't create a mountain that may not be there. Just look at what is there and deal with that. Right? So deal with the sadness, deal with the I think that's actually why she she ended up deciding to take freedom to feel because anyway, that's this is not about the online courses for that you can go to my facebook page you can go to instagram and on instagram i am the voice of confidence on facebook i am my katie speaks life the channel name one of the things you will be observing or noticing or audiencing too is seeing a confidence coach who started a youtube channel before they were ready before they knew what they do which is something i preach a lot just start anyway and see how that's going my editing has gotten better etc etc watch the other videos and i also will be posting like pff, files of the videos that i've recorded in the past ones that are recorded even before i started the youtube channel in june 2019 ones that i've recorded after i started the channel but never made it online and, and a big thank you to everybody who participated in all those videos that i recorded before i even had a a 2020 plan now i've got one in a nutshell, that's not so not Shelly like. That's how a confidence coach, this confidence coach, that confidence coach records an introduction video to her YouTube channel. Thank you for staying till this far. Question I have for you, please put the answer down in the comments below. Score me from one to ten. One to ten. One being <laughs> what was that? Ten being <laughs> Yeah, 10 being, that was exciting, that was fun, that was cool, I'm interested, do more, keep going, and yeah, all things yummy, tasty, fruity, juicy, and nice. The next video will be me kicking off 2020 by starting a confidence coaching series. I'll pick from one of my online courses, or maybe you can help me by picking. I'll put it on my Facebook page, My Katie Speaks Live, 
and my Instagram at the voice of confidence for you to pick one if you want or I will just pick one at will and I'll also put it on my WhatsApp for you to pick the one that from my Katie Speaks Life, the girl with hashtag PhD in confidence helping the whole world get a PhD in confidence because it's that easy. Until next time, bye. Parting note. Before the parting note. Do let me know if you want me to show you how I style my hair without a mirror. I use a mirror like 2% of the time. So, parting freedom note. Parting freedom note. That's what we're going to call it. Arrogance and confidence are two worlds apart. There's no thin line. It's actually galaxies and galaxies that are in between the two. Taste the freedom and enjoy. Hashtag PhD in confidence.